Hey guys, what's up? It's the Michael and I'm here, 1997, here to give you guys a review of the one and only Microsoft Xbox, Xbox One, actually exclusive, Titanfall. This game has came out for on March 11th for Xbox One, PC, and they'll be a delayed version on Xbox 360, actually. So, let's just start, get off, let, get this off the chest right here. The They actually revealed this game at E3, I believe, and I must say... Seeing some of the footage of it, it looked really good, and I really hope, like, I hope it was going to be, like, one of those good Xbox One games that would really pull you in and make you want to play a console, like, for a really long time. For an exclusive, of course. I mean, this is Xbox One exclusive, Titanfall. See, I actually got it on my PC. It's a work PC, actually, and it's, um, my background. So, let's just get this off the tick of my head. That it does the game live up to its potential? Most ways, actually, yes, it does. Actually, it's one of those games that comes out and it actually delivers on the hype. Believe the hype, in my opinion. So, Titanfall is published by EA and was developed by Respawn Entertainment. Believe it or not, Respawn Entertainment were key developers behind the Call of Duty franchise, basically behind the Infinity Ward. They Infinity Ward. They did games of Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare One. Two and three, and then they did um this uh, 2013's Ghost. Now, if I, I never actually got a chance to actually review this game, if you guys want me to do a late review for this, I will do it, but not right now because I'm reviewing Titanfall. But back to my normal voice because I like this voice more than my dark voice. So Titanfall is a great actually game. It's one of those exclusive games on Netflix One that doesn't just like make you want to stay like play your game for a while, but makes you want to play it for weeks on end. Days on end. Sometimes you would go to school. You would wake, go to bed late on school nights. Like sometimes I would. But back to the main topic. What is this game? Is this an online single player mix as well? No. It's only a multiplayer only game with six on six multiplayer. Now this is where people got upset about. It. A few months ago, the like co-founders of Respawn they announced it's gonna be six on six, and everyone was in an outrage. Let me just say right now, the six on six multiplayer. Yeah, I think it's a perfect mix. I think it's the right amount of people. I think if they added a little, a little more or a little less, it would have been like the balance would have been, went like malfunctioned or when it went up to sort of cute for all we know. I don't know why I'm using mathematical terms. I hate that. But back to the point, the six on six multiplayer in this game is perfect. It's a great like balance of gameplay that works well here. That really works well for this game, you know? So that's really well done, I must say. It's visually a good-looking game. I mean, the when it first came out, it would run at 792p. That's still 720p area, but it's about to jump into 900p soon due to update. And Respawn Entertainment uh, said that they may try to do a 1080p update as well, try to make it fully 1080p. Now, I learned this information from news, like, little, like, Articles or like you like YouTube channels that do news about games, so like Friendly AI, I really like that channel. Really good show. The, the he does news a lot, so that really works out for me. Um, so, so how does it visually look based on the 792p and how visually it feels? Basically, the visuals and design of the game, I must say, is really well done. You can tell by the Titans right here. The design of the world that they created so far, it looks like a really good, breathtaking, visually looking game. Everything looks good. There's a lot of great detail in a lot of the environments that you're thrown in that are 15 maps. That's the design. You designed 15 maps of multiplayer. And I must say, it's a really fun multiplayer. Um, back to design and visuals, everything has details to it, like the creation of the Titans, the animations that the Titans do, and some of the animations that some of the AI soldiers do, they're really cool as well. So that's really good that for the game to really pay attention to some details and do a great job with that. My God, is that Titan beautiful? Look at that pilot. Good position. So what? Are, now I know they said they weren't gonna add no single player campaign, but this reminded me of a lot of another game actually. And in case you guys did not know, this game reminded me a lot like Brink. If you do not know what Brink was, it was a failed attempt at this type of game experience. It was a multiplayer only, a multiplayer single player only game. You could play single player offline, but it was sh crap. It was developed by Splash Damage, and they did a horrible job with that game. 
I know I think I gave a 7 in the past, but I really regretted that decision, and I decided if I were to re review it again, I would give it a 5.5 5 out of 10 highest. The lowest, it would be like a 3 or 2 or 1 for all of them. I don't really, I don't want to go back that far because those are days where I thought it was good, but it tricked me really good. Really good job tricking me. I didn't like that. But Titanfall actually lives up to the hype of being a multiplayer only campaign. But it has its problems. Number one is the story itself and the campaign itself. You don't really. I didn't really know what the hell was going on throughout playing the nine chapters on both sides. Just like Brink, there's the IMC, which is like this like big government official team. And then there's the militia, which is basically like, like the rebellion. So, they're going against each other, trying to fight over fuel and stuff like that. They're trying to fight for survival. And it's basically, that's it. That's all I could figure out throughout the story. I mean, I wish Respawn Entertainment, they wish, I wish they could put more of an interesting story in here. Like, they could have shown, like, the beginning of the battle. And then they could have, like, expanded on through years or now. Or try to really, like, pull us into this world. Like, world building in this game could have been a really good thing here, but... I felt like Respawn Entertainment kind of made it kind of like they didn't really want to make a single player campaign. And I, I knew that already from the beginning, so it doesn't really hurt the game that much because I knew that it was going to be single multiplayer only. So I knew that it was going to be like this. But I wish, but they tried to add story here and it didn't really work. I like the campaign mission, there's no cutscenes at all. It's just audio logs from the AI characters, MP. NPCs, I think they're called, and they basically say, look, we're going to take this place out, here's how we're going to do it, we're going to take up these contractions, we're going to use these layer points, and that's it, end of story, there, done, pizza. Um, so, that really is, like, really lackluster, in my opinion, and there's, like, a cool five minute second sequence when it would show, like, in the beginning of the battle, you would exit out of, like, a helicopter, like a helicarrier, if I don't uh, do, like, like, one of those type of things, like this, and, like, open up like that, and then you just jump out. That's how every single cutscene at the beginning is, unless it takes a little longer, or unless your ship blows up, and you fall to the ground, but you survive somehow. So, campaign overall, I felt it was disappointing, and you can really beat the campaign super quick. I mean, come on, I mean, there's only nine chapters for each side, like I said, IMC and Militia, and you basically need to play this campaign, because it's the only way to unlock... Of the Titan classes, I'll get to that later. But more on the campaign, it's really could be being in like, like in less than two hours, basically an hour tops, if it takes you a while because you have to basically beat every single campaign mission in order to pass. That's how it was for me. Um, but overall, I still got past it, and I want to have game. I mean, if this was a, if this was a single player experience, like it, they added a single player campaign into it. That would be a disaster. It would be a disastrous game. It would be in the high scores it's getting so far. Like 9.25s, 9.5s, and 10s. And then there's some decimal scores. There's like 8.9s and all that stuff. But big deal. I still can't stop looking at that picture. It's really, really good. I really like it. I'm proud of myself. I'm not. I'm not proud at all. But back to the point of um, the campaign. The campaign is just average. Or maybe it's like disappointing for me. I mean, like, I mean, yes, there's games like, let's be honest, Battlefield 4 campaign is just average, and Call of Duty Ghosts, these are campaigns right here, right? They have campaigns, and they have multiplayer, which is decisions, like extras. But the thing about these two is that they're actually trying to add a campaign here. This game isn't adding a campaign. It's just like they just threw this campaign on just to force you to play through it. Just to get the unlockables. That's how I feel about that. In case you guys did not know, I got this on Christmas. I actually came with Xbox One, actually. And I got this for my birthday. Not a game I always loved. It's one I not really like. I mean, I don't like the fran I'm not a big fan of the franchise. But back to none of that. Back to Titanfall, because that's what matters here. God, I need to pay attention more. Did I say basically at all? No? That's good. So back to the video of what I'm trying to talk about here. Um, Campaign-wise, it's disappointing. I don't want to play it again. There's no actually re replay reasoning why, not at all, in my opinion. 
I don't think I would really want to play it again. Not at all. So, mo camping wise, it's disappointing. Don't want to play it again. Uh, that's it, really. Um, then there is the introduction, what they do before the campaign, where you basically learn the controls. But if you played the beta, you know the controls. But you still have to do the introduction, I think. Um, so, that's the kind of experience that you have to deal with. It's easy and it's quick like that. You basically learn how to walk, you learn how to run, you learn how to jump, you learn how to shoot, wall jumping, all that stuff. And then, later on, into the game. So, now we're going to talk about gameplay. Now, this... This is where the part where Titanfall becomes a, the game of its own. It's not just a good game. I'm going to take my notes. I like my notes. They're cool. So, the gameplay is just a great mixture of two things. Great mech warfare, which involves the Titans. And the great twitch shooting mechanisms of the, the pilots, basically. So, basically, in my opinion, it's like a Lost Planet Call of Duty... A good Call of Duty with Mirror's Edge in it. If Last Planet wasn't average, this would be a really good Lost Planet. Like, I mean, it's, it's cool. Kind of reminds me of Transformers a little bit because they have guns and all that stuff, and they could like like fall from a high vantage. That's cool. So I didn't mean, but overall, the t the gameplay is the best part of the game overall, uh, gameplay wise. So you can basically play in your your Titan. Which involves uh, three different classes of Titans. There's Atlas, the one you start off with, which is this guy right here. Then there's Strider, which is a really skinnier, smaller, not smaller, but skinnier version where it could dash faster and it could go like that. And they all have different abilities, all these Titans. So Atlas, it has a um, damage core upgrade. So it basically, this makes all your weapons stronger. Atlas right here. His weapons are stronger and he's more uh, just like stronger, basically. That's it. And then there is Strider, like I said, he has an unlimited dash core, and he can just like dash for miles and miles on end. So, like, this can help you get away from enemies a lot faster. And then there is the Ogre, Shrek the Ogre. And it's basically this big, gigantic uh, robot of a Titan, and this one has a shield upgrade, which basically makes your shield stronger for a little amount of time. All these powers have like a 10 second, a 20, like 20 second max use, so... It's not overusing. It's not like you have to use it every 10 seconds. It actually has a timer. And that's basically all around the game. You have to kill people, kill bad enemies, like, actually, in order to get less time so your Titan comes down a lot faster. Comes in, you come in, you go in that Titan, you kill everybody. That's basically it. It's fun. Now, the, I'm going to talk about the pilot gameplay for a little bit. The pilot gameplay is actually really, really fun. It's fun to use. It's a, like I said, it's a mixture of Call of Duty, a little bit of Battlefield, and some of uh, Mirror's Edge, like I said before. But the controls are a lot different in Mirror's Edge, which had a really unique control skill. So, what's really cool is the controls in this game is really simple. No wrong, wrong console. I'm going to use the XRC 60 controller because I'm my brother might be playing Xbox One right now, so I'm just going to use it. So, I think because Xbox One and this are basically the same thing. Give me a break. So, you basically run toward, this is how to run, and then you can jump on towards a wall, and that's basically how you wall run, really. That's, like, the best way to play, because it really is fun for simpletons, and it's really casual. It makes you feel like anyone can play this game, and that's an achievement that works well for Titanfall. You just jump to it, and then you can jump again, do a double jump, you like, pew, pew, for your like, jetpack on your back, you do, like, that, and you can do a double jump, or... If you like run in the middle of a wall run, you can hold the tr aiming trigger, and you just do a wall hang. A wall hang, and then you can just shoot blind fire, but you can't aim during the wall hang at all. So, basically, to um, pray that it actually is on high, and it works. On the contrary of all... I don't know, what the hell is a contrary? But the gameplay is intense. I mean, you it's like any other shooting game. You run, you jump, you reload, you switch guns. You have um, a primary weapon, which is going to be an assault rifle, shotgun, sniper, all that stuff. You basically have 10, 10 infantry weapons. Like uh, That is basically a mixture of assault rifles. And then you have sidearms, which are useful. It's the most of them I use. I really like using the magnum the most and the uh, machine pistol. Really fun to use. And then there is the semi-automatic pistol that you get in any other game. But I really like the other two more because they're more different for me. And they have cool animations in my opinion. Um, 
So back to the controls, you still, you aim, you shoot, you throw grenades, and then, and then you have a special ability, which can, uh, which can cloak, you can, like, stimulate, you also have a radar pulse, where you know, basically have, like, a mask on, of course, like any other soldier, and then you see enemies through walls, and that's actually a cool ability to use, but I always like using cloak, because then when titans are around me, I press the cloak, I hide in the corner, I call in my titan, I jump in my titan, I kill them all. It's fun to use like that. And it's just amazing to use in this type of game. So, pilot controls and gameplay is amazing. You can even execute enemies. You go behind them, you break the nest like, <laughs> like that. It's amazing to see, and it works every single time you go behind them. Or you can do just like a jump kick. So, you basically do a sweet chin music the entire way through. So, that's just kind of cool to do. Awesome, really. And then there is the Titan parts. The Transformer, the Robots, those things. They basically have six Titan weapons. There's a machine gun, which is what this guy has. Then there's arc cannons. There's just a 40 millimeter cannon. Then there is rockets with quad rockets, which is one trigger, like one pull of the trigger, releases four rockets that go in circles and they spread out. And then there is an electric rail gun. Then there is like this charge rifle. It's just amazing to use. Also, wait, before I go into Titans a little more, the pilots also have an advantage against Titans. Pilots have advantages against Titans, which are anti-Titan weapons. We should, these can go into things like the Sidewinder or Mag Launcher, which is magnetic grenades, which is the Mag Launcher, or the Sidewinder, basically rapid-firing rocket gun, which called 25 rockets. There is also the Charge Rifle, and there's also an Arch Rocket Launcher you can use to blow up Titans, but it, it takes a while to blow them up because... They're heavily armored, and they can tell when you're trying to kill them. So that's cool. So back to Titan gameplay. Like I said, there's like three types of Titans. And what's cool about each Titan is that they are the different type of variety. Which means that, uh, how can I say this? When you execute someone, even in Titan mode, you can execute another Titan. What this means is you have to basically get the damage done to the point where their, like, their health bar is like yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Like it's caution. Like they're about to die. Their Titan's about to die. Basically go out to them. Hit the melee button in your Titan. You basically this cool animation. There's three types. There's the Atlas, basically pull, punches through the like the like this part of the Titan's chest, pulls this pilot out, and then throws them. And then the Strider, he does the same thing. One thing is when he pulls them out, he does it like that, and he squishes them. And then um, Ogre, he ta he doesn't go in the chest at all. He basically takes the arms off and beats it to death with the arms. That's awesome. You don't feel like you're doing the same thing. And not one Titan feels the same. They all have a different variety and they all have a different sense of feel to it. And that works well for this game. I really do like that about this Titan is that, and it's cool. And also the Titans also have their own perks. So you can do like a nuclear injection. What this means is like when you get surrounded by tons of Titans you're in a corner. Or the Titans are in the corner. You're like three to one. And this actually the Titans will also say, Caution, you're outnumbered two to one, three to one, four to one, or five to one, depending if you're in that horrible situation at all. Um, you basically just tap the up button, the up directional pad, and press X as fast as you can. You better up yourself a nuclear ejection sequence, you pull yourself out, you blow up everything around you. If they're close enough to you. If they're in the Titan or not, they'll still die. Doesn't matter if they're grunts, specters, or soldiers, players. Um, okay, so, like I said, Titans, they all have their cool abilities. They also have also abilities like punching someone, which means, like, they're more powerful, so you can kill them faster with their melee kills. You go, like that, it takes more time to really come back and whine and pull your gun back out. And then there is a regenerating health, which is, like, a dome shield battery. So, you can't, they can't kill your Titan right away as soon as you activate it. If it they can kill it after 10 seconds, because... There's a dome shield battery. There's a dome shield that protects it. And if any Titans go near it, any enemy Titans or enemy soldiers, they'll die because that dome shield will kill them. Right? Quickly. Just like that. It's really fun because it really adds a mood of strategy. And it works really well. And I really do love that about the Titan gameplay and the pilot gameplay. Is that it all feels strategic. And none of it feels cheap at all. I didn't feel punished just for doing horrible in a match. In fact, instead... I felt like, even though I did horrible in a match at times, you would still feel like you accomplished something. The game would still, like, you always rank up fast like that, and you're always getting something. You always feel happy for actually getting through a game. And it's fun to do that, because games 
you don't they don't really uh like say congratulations you did your best you get a uh, a thing in most games like Call of Duty like for example or Battlefield Four you don't feel like you accomplished anything when you did terrible in a match Titanfall changes that but by giving you tons to unlock you yeah, burn card which are basically perks and these perks are relied on to like giving you an most powerful submachine gun version of wall less time to avoid Titan to do a Titanfall. Um, faster legs, you need more speed for yourself, which can help you out if you're being chased. You just like run around like staircases and maps and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, the gameplay of like burn cards, they don't feel cheap like some people are saying. Instead, they feel balanced at times. I mean, I didn't never use them in the beta because I never knew how to use them. But then you just find out like in this game, my brother told me he just like, press Y before they, like you actually spawn. And you just pick which card you want to activate, and boom, just like that. You pick three slots. Even though you start off at one, throughout the game you level up, you get two to three. And then you get all three slots, and you're good. You're good to go. Um, That's really well done, thought out. I mean, Respawn did a great job with like gameplay for both sides, and the similarities and evenness for both sides. You never felt punished. And that's what I love about this game. Like, in other games like Call of Duty or, or Battlefield... I would feel like I'm always dying. I'll go right back in. I get shot in the head again, like in the first five seconds of a match. In this, you don't feel like it. It takes more time, and the hit detection actually is actually really well done. It's accurate. It works well. I'm just gonna look at my notes just so I don't forget anything important. I didn't forget anything. That's good. And I really do love that nothing feels cheap. The game has a great sense of speed to it, and I just love that about this game. The gameplay never feels bad. It never feels like, oh, it's garbage. Uh, yes, I would rage quit dude. people killing me over and over, but that's my fault because I always get so involved in this match. Right, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. But overall, it works well for me, so that worked really well. The multiplayer, like I said, is basically the gameplay. It works amazingly. I had no crashing throughout any of the experience at all. Actually, if you leave your controller on for five minutes in the, loan, in the lobby, It'll pull you out and bring you right back to the main menu, which is a really odd reason to do that. I mean, I understand if it's like in the middle of a multi match, like in the middle of like a match of domination or something like that, go take a piss and then it comes like then you exit out, but not just like in the main menu or like the decision where you go to matchmaker. Really weird. The gameplay modes are attrition, which is team deathmatch, hardpoint domination, which is domination or conquest in Battlefield Four. Then there is Pilot Hunter, which is Team Death Map, which is a twist. You only get points for the attrition if you only kill the players on the opposite team. Then there is Capture the Flag, and then, which is basically Capture the Flag with Titans and, and Soldiers. Right? And what else? Um, I think that's it. That's a, only five game modes. Yes, I understand. A lot of people would be like, Get me more game modes. But I am okay with the game modes because I really... Oh, wait, one more. I've almost forgot one. It's called Last Titan Standing, which means it's basically an elimination match. Basically, It's basically elimination. But here's a twist. You all start in your Titans. And it basically, if you die, you don't come back. There's no respawns. There's four matches you must slot in to win. Like that. It, the matches quit... Um, play out real quickly but for me i didn't really like that mode that much because every single time i play it i always end up dead first or i always and just end up getting raided to death by tons of soldiers and it wasn't even fair at times it was just like cheap at times in my opinion last time standing is my least favorite out of them all i really like pilot hunter the most out of all of them and six modes is okay with me I know some reviewers would be like, no, I want more, I want more, like how Battlefield 4 gives me 8 modes and Call of Duty gives me Infinity, but big deal, you know, for me, I just want to know if the game modes are interesting and if they're fun enough to keep me playing. This, these game modes are fun enough to keep me playing for hours on end, and I must say right now, like, uh, there'll be some viewers out there who will get the game on PC because PC version's better. Like, oh, it's, eh, it's a big deal. Um, I actually heard that there was some crashing for some people who bought the PC version. 
be beware of buying on a PC. Not to, like say don't buy it, but just be careful if you're the one who gets like a bad like lagging every twenty seconds. Just let you know. I got mine. I didn't get it. My brother actually got this game. My brother actually been really nice to me review his games. He's been doing it for me for so long. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, he actually has been um. And my brother actually got this game, so it's nice to see that he got an Xbox One. We actually need an Xbox One game because playing games like Battlefield 4, Forza, Dead Rising, and Rise Center of Rome, they're fun games, but we just need something new. Like, we always get something new for PlayStation 4. No, nothing new, but this ain't new. I mean, I got this on March 1st. Not. Who's not, who's, who's not remembering, but I don't remember. But big deal. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's amazing. Game modes, there's not that much there, but it's enough to keep me over. Um, story, shit, it's shit, really. I really don't understand some people who would really just go under that. Um, I must talk about one more thing, though. Maps in this game, the 15 maps that are in the game, are beautiful. They're great for the gameplay. And they all have their own use of advantage. Like, some maps are good for can't leg domination, some good... Matches are good for team deathmatch. Some matches are good for last titan standing. <laughs> a mode I'll never play again. And then there is um match just for any type of game. Now a lot I understand like the map design and it's really well done here. I really love it. Now some people will say Battlefield Four. It's kind of like let me just see this. Let me rephrase myself. Battle, this game is kind of like a mixture of two games, Bat Call of Duty and Battlefield. Battlefield 4 maps, they're kind of big. They're expanded. They really do feel like you're in a battlefield. While Call of Duty's maps, let's be honest, they always have been small as hell. They're like an arena. But I'll talk about Ghost later on, throughout the generation of getting it. That it kind of feels like these maps are small, even though Ghost tried to take a bigger advantage of it, make, making the maps a little bit bigger, just for more teamwork. But let's get back to Titanfall. The map design this is just amazing. Amazing. Don't know if that's a real word. Comment below if that's a real word or not. Please let me know. And um, let me just say right now, I really do love this game. This is going to keep me playing for another few weeks of Xbox, so I'll buy another Xbox One game. Well, I will buy an Xbox One game overall. Um, so out of 10, final verdict. Let's go into pros. Pros. Professional. I'm not professional. So, pros of this game. Let's see. Visually, it's an appealing game. It works. Another pro is the multiplayer itself. It kind of brings more fun to multiplayer. Because for me, I kind of get pissed off at multiplayer games because I always end up I'm dying and I don't feel rewarded. This feels like I'm always getting rewarded no matter what happens. Good. Another pro is the controls and gameplay. And it really does work well. It's a simple tank, yes. But it's made for anyone who... It's made for basically anyone. Casual players to just have fun. Enjoy it. Get a pizza. Mess with that. Don't know why I need a pizza. Just play the game. Have a drink around just to keep you on the um, Another thing I must really say is really well is the variety. Like... Um, the map design, let's say, really well done. Visually, it's an appealing game. Music, eh, it's mostly good. There's some great sound design for some of the weapons that you get. as an anti-Titan weapon. So that's really cool to use as well. And that's really well good. And then there are the cons. Cons. The cons here are, I didn't really like one of the game modes. I'm okay with the other game modes. Not really big con. And the big one is the campaign. You know, I just think that this game should just take a no campaign. Just add none campaign. If this was just a multiplayer game, like games like Black Light Retribution, which I got on PS4, a game that works well, Warframe, another game that doesn't have an actual campaign, it's actually mixed together perfectly well, it would have worked. But this, this bits, there is no campaign here. I didn't really care for any of the characters when someone died. There's nothing to really care about overall in the campaign, so the campaign itself is just pointless. And it's just disappointing in my opinion, as I really thought they would try to have a campaign as Respawn. They did work on the old Call of Duty games, basically Infinity Ward projects. So, out of 10, 
Here goes my score. A final verdict of this game is a 9.2 out of 10. I don't, uh, a lot of people are like, why decimal? Just give me straight. I'm giving to you straight. 9.2 out of 10. I really do love this game. It's a great game to buy an Xbox One. If you're looking for a reason to buy an Xbox One, this is the reason why to play an Xbox One. The basically... Don't worry, it didn't break. Um, this is the reason why to get an Xbox One game. It's, uh, Xbox One game. This is the reason why to get an Xbox One. There. I got it right. Yes. I didn't fail. This is the reason. Uh, there's also I heard a bundle for this game. So if you get this game with the Xbox One, there's a bundle. So basically there's a bundle with both Xbox One and this. So... If you have enough money for that, go get it. Or if you already have Xbox One and you, you want to get this, just buy it already. Buy tons of it. Buy it for your friends who don't have Xbox One. This will want them to get an Xbox One. Because they'll buy it. And they have an empty game in storage that they haven't used yet. I will say this. I understand, like, it's exclusive. I know it didn't come out of launch and all that stuff. But big deal. Some people will be giving it low scores, like a 7. I saw reviewers give it like a 7 or an 8. Like, that's not low, but I, I define 7s as average. Or just good. Like, a good, like, it's oh, it's good, but it is good. Like, that type of good game. And this game is amazing. If you're not surprised by this game, I don't know really what to, know what to say to you. I mean, yes, I love PlayStation. I love Nintendo. I mean, Microsoft... They do some stupid things here or there, but overall they get the job done. Wait, you know what? I'm putting that down. Look at this picture. This is sexier than that because it's more big. So, guys, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I do pictures of like games like these. Um, I did a picture of me and a thief, like trying to look like the thief on the thief cover. Um, I will be reviewing Thief really soon. Uh, that video has been delayed for my reasons, because I got scared. Pissed myself. I didn't pay myself. I'm joking about that. And then I'll be reviewing Wolf Among Us, Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors, and Walking Dead, Episode 2, House Divided. The reason why those two videos were delayed, I said I was going to do that in the first week of March. I had to delay them because I was really sick that weekend, and I couldn't really do crap. I was basically malfunctional the entire time. I felt like garbage, basically. I couldn't work. And if I would have worked, I would have puked on set. And I don't think you ever want to see me puke. No. No. So please like the video, comment, subscribe. My name's on Facebook is Michael Martinez. And then my name's on Twitter and Instagram is the Michael M in 1997. Go check me out there. Ask me questions. Ask me what games to review next. I'll be also be reviewing Shadowfall. I've already beaten the game and all that stuff. So, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> um, I'll, if you guys want me to review Ghost, I'll review it just for the sake of talking about Infinity Ward as a different company, though. Just for the fun of it. So, there you go, guys. Video done. I finally got, I got this over with. Now, I got to edit this damn thing. I don't I want to skip that part. I'm not going to say anything about that. So, bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye.